Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello. Today we will solve problem 2-5. This is a very easy problem. The statement is the two wires are connected together at point A. So you can see this is wire A, B and A, C. They are together at point A. If P force causes point A to be displaced horizontally 2 mm. So due to this force P, this point A displaced 2 mm. I will display it. Let it, this distance is 2 mm. Clear? Determine the normal strain developed in each wire. So you have to find the strain in wire AC which is again equal to strain in wire AB. So you have to find this strain. Now you can see due to this force this point A moves 2 mm toward the right. So this wire will be also move like this. Similarly, the lower wire will also move like this. Clear? So, this will be the new length, which is L A dash, which is L dash A C, which is new length of the wire. The initial length of A C is 300 mm. Clear? Now, this is 30 degree. So, remaining angle, this angle is equal to 150 degree. I will draw it separately over here. This was initial length which is uh, 300 mm clear and this angle was this angle was 30 degree now due to 2 mm dis displacement this is 2 mm this is 2 mm displacement this wire will move like this clear and this is new length L dash AC here, this angle is equal to 150 degree and this length is this length the length of this wire is 300 mm now by using this formula L dash AC whole square is equal to this length square which is 300 so 300 square plus this square 200 2 mm 2, 2, 2 square Clear minus 2 times this length multiplied by this length 300 into 2 into cos of angle between them. So, cos of angle between them is cos of 150 degree that will be equal to L, A, L dash AC square. So, it means new length of this AC will be equal to under root of this 3 square 300 square plus 2 square minus 2 times 300 into 2 into cos of 50 150 degree this is 150 degree clear so when you solve this the new length l dash ac will be equal to 301.734 mm now this is new length. So we know that strain in AC is equal to change in length divided by original length. So change in length is new length minus original length. New length is L dash AC minus original length is LAC divided by original length which is LAC. So we will put the value 301. 0.734 is new length minus 300 is original length divided by 300 which is original length. So when you solve this so you will get strain in AC is equal to 0 0.00578 millimeter per millimeter or it is equal to 0 0.00578 8. So this is strain in AC and the lower side AB in wire AB the same strain will produce. So we will shortly write strain in AB is equal to strain in AC is equal to 0 0.00578. So 
this is the answer of our this question i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching and supporting me take care